coming to you live again. It's Mike the Bitchy Homeowner. All right. God damn it. Listen. Um, I'm not going to use the contractor, the subcontractor's name, but um, five years ago I bought a, a, a furnace, an air conditioner furnace unit combo, and I paid the extra money to get the extra uh, high efficient unit, right? And then my my project manager, he orders up, he tells the subcontractor what they need to bring. They show up, they were supposed to bring a 95% efficient furnace, okay? That means Mike Ernest paid a lot of extra money to have a very efficient furnace to save money in the long run, help uh, help be green. You know, you gotta be green. And uh, and save the dolphins and shit. Okay, so I paid the extra, like $3,000 to get a 95% furnace. And this is a couple months ago. A couple months ago, they showed up and they brought all the equipment I don't know if I made a video about this or not already, but nonetheless, they brought showed up, they brought all the equipment. I did make a video. I called it a fucking contractor thing. You can't trust nobody. Anyways, so I'm already bitching about that. So I've already bitched about the fact that they showed up and they tried to stick an 80% furnace in here instead of the 95% furnace. Ooh, it was uh, just a... We made a mistake in the paperwork. I'm sure you fucking did. I'm sure you wanted to put $3,500 in your pocket and throw some idiot homeowner at 80% service because he's never going to know because he's happy. He's got a brand new furnace. Everything be fine. No, all right? So nonetheless, I brought it up. I keep my own things. I said, take that 80% out, put a 95% in. They did put a 95%. Okay, cool. So they piped it and they, they ran the exhaust out. But the problem is, is, they did probably the shittiest job I ever seen sticking PVC together. I'm going to tell you what, it don't take nothing to stick PVC together. You take a little bit of purple primer on both ends. You put some purple primer on the male end, and you put some purple primer on the female end. You goop the gloop on the male end, and you goop the gloop on the female end. You stick them together, you hold it for 25 seconds, and now you got a permanent bond that lasts forever. All right? I just came upstairs, take a look at something, and this is what I see. Now they're done with the exhaust part. They've already finished that. They finished it. They're done with it. They were all done. They didn't have any more work up here to do except hook up the gas line. That's it. I come upstairs and the wind, the fucking wind, apparently blew hard enough a piece of pipe sticking out the roof. Either it broke the seal or there never was a seal because this... There is like a little teeny, teeny, tiny dab of glue there. The primer does not go all the way around. What the fuck? That primer, he did not prime this correctly. Didn't put the primer all the way around it. And then I look over here and I see this thing is done falling to pieces. It all fell apart. I look over here. This is the part that it went into. He didn't put any primer in that shit. There, I won't focus there. There's no primer on the inside of that coupling. No primer. The whole inside of that thing, no, no, it won't focus because it's too bright. But inside of this whole thing, there, there we go. All that from here up, there's a little notch. From there up should be purple with primer. You put the primer on it, you put the glue on it. Now I can look down inside that other joint and you see, there's no primer in there. He didn't put any primer on the other side of it. There's barely any glue holding this together. I don't feel any glue, like none. This is smooth as it was the day they bought it off the shelf. No glue right there. I come up here, because this is where it connected, just like that. All right. There's no fucking glue on it. There's like a teeny tiny dab. There's no primer all the way around it, and there's no glue on there. 
Well, the motherfucker broke off. What the fuck do you expect it to do if you don't put no goddamn glue on it? The wind blew and it broke the motherfucker. Not only that, did it break it off up there? Look down here too. I'm getting mad now. I'm talking weird. The same fucking thing down here. Look, God damn it! Listen, I have done PVC. 20 years I've been putting PVC together. It ain't fucking hard. When I bought this house, I replaced all the plumbing. All the outgoing lines underneath this house. I did that shit. And you know what? It's still fucking under there. And not a goddamn drip of water has ever came out of those pipes that I put in 25 fucking years ago. And I'm, I'm not going to get on a side rant about the plumber. Because this ain't the plumber. This was the HVAC guy. But nonetheless, I'm just a regular old homeowner. I design boats. I should, I, I, this is not my fucking profession, but I know how to stick fucking PVC together. All right? And I come in here and this is what y'all do for a fucking living? You don't prime the insides? You don't put hardly any glue at all? What the fuck? Well, when this thing blew, when the wind blew or whatever the fuck happened, it cracked that and it snapped it off. And then you saw it a second ago. It was laying here on the goddamn ground. Why'd that happen? Because he didn't put no goddamn glue inside of that motherfucker. There's no fucking primer and there's no fucking glue inside of there. There's no glue and there's no primer here. There's no glue here. This is nothing. PVC... Let me put it to you like this. When you make a proper PVC joint, you know what is the strongest part of that fucking PVC? The glue. The glue joint is stronger than the PVC itself. At least that's what I've always told myself. Nonetheless, it fucking broke. And I guarantee goddamn to you, I could go to each one of these and I could very easily just snap them. Just twist it a little bit and they'd pop right off. Because there's no glue inside the goddamn things. They came in after the fact, and you can see it. They ran the fucking primer on the outside of it. There is such a weak, shitty joint that it just it just popped like it was nothing. Bloop, popped right there, and the weight the weight of one pound of PVC doing like this. Snapped that fucking joint. Snapped that glue joint. What the fuck? What the fuck are these idiots getting paid for? I mean, this is a lot of goddamn money. This job right here was originally quoted to put in this furnace, run all the AC duct and all that, and put in the air conditioner outside. Originally was quoted at six. $15,000. I don't know what their final decision was. Maybe they went with another contractor that did it for cheaper. Probably because they did shitty work. But nonetheless, if you got 2 inch PVC and you can't do a proper PVC joint on that, right? You can't do a proper PVC joint on that. What about all the rest of your PVC joints you got going? Alright? You got your drain. This is the overflow. When it it gets all bubbly and watery and shit, and it wants to drain. It goes through the PVC pipe. It goes down here. It goes over here. It runs all the way to fuck through there. Then all the way to fuck through that attic. Way the hell over there. All right, to drain. And that's a what? That's a three quarter inch line. Three quarter inch. If they can't make a two fucking inch piece of pipe stick together, how the fuck are they gonna make a three quarter inch piece of pipe stick together? I don't trust it. I don't fucking trust goddamn nobody to do work on my fucking house. Cause that oh oh that ain't the only one either. Because the pan, sometimes these things will drip and overflow or some shit, and the pan fills up. Okay, the pan fills up with water. And it's got to drain out. That pan, the sketch pan. It drains the water. He's got his drain right there. You can see the PVC. Comes over here. Right there. Goes through there. And out over there. What's going to happen if all any 
any of these joints on all this PVC ends up leaking. It's going to drip down onto the ceiling. It's going to drip into the kitchen. It's going to drip down in through all the insulation. And it's going to be a big fucking mess. And I take pride in the work that I do on my house. I put a little bit of extra give a shit into a pipe. Into a fucking well, a PVC joint. A little bit of glue. A little bit of primer. It's seven bucks and you can like, you can do like 200 connections with seven dollars worth of glue and some, some fucking primer. And we got this going on. Here it is. Brand new. $16,000 job. And look, and there it is. It broke. Something happened. Now there's a fucking hole in the roof. I know I'm yelling. I'm not angry. But you know what? I don't give a flying fuck. Because people can't do their fucking job. Look. Look, look, there. And I have to leave notes for them everywhere. Seal tight. Why? Because you look through there and you can see through the roof. You can see sky. You can see the blue fuck. Not right now. But you can see the blue skies. And when you can look through the roof and see blue skies, that's where water comes in. <clears throat> I'm just fucking mad. I know. I'm crazy. I'm an idiot. I'm crazy. I'm picking everything apart. But God damn it. When, when you, you pay a bunch of money, insurance is paying them. These motherfuckers are getting paid to do this shit. They get paid to do it and they do a shitty job. That's when I get mad. Um, what else can I bitch about? I've got all these uh, all these connections here where it ties into that main. The big main goes all the way down, right? All these connections, they tie in. they got to cut a hole in that round, uh, round pipe. The tubes. Yeah. They got to cut a hole in it and it's round flange. They got to put a round flange on it. And then they got to seal it up with this stuff called mastic. It's like fiberglass or gooey gloop or whatever. And if you don't fill it up with the gooey gloop, what you get is an air leak. Because there's lots of air being forced through here. If you don't fill it up with the gooey gloop, see, right here, that's fine. Because you filled it up with the gooey gloop. That's good. But if we go on down the line and look at other places, I don't know about that one. That one's fine too. I had my neighbor, Johnny the Filipino. He came out here and this is what he does for a living. And he orders it like right there. Right there. There's a big hole right there. Got to put more mastic in there to seal it up. I've already talked to the builder. I don't know if this is past inspection or not, but it hasn't passed my inspection, and it hasn't passed Johnny the Filipino's inspection. He's going to come in here, and he's going to be my final inspector. Before they pull that shit tight, Johnny's coming up here. I'll pay fucking Johnny. I'll give him money for him to come up here and be the one to give the final the final say so because I trust him I don't trust him I don't trust the people putting it in I trust the Filipino I trust the guy from behind it lives out back behind me came from the island for real straight up Filipino I trust him more than I trust the people that are getting paid sixteen thousand dollars to do this job bring it to their attention fix it do it right if I call it to your attention you fail as a company if I'm calling you out saying you did, you need to correct this. If you're trying to pass it off and saying hey, everything's good, but I, but the homeowner's saying no, and I, I point things out to you. Hey, you mess this up. You fail as a company. You get a D minus. D minus isn't failing. <laughs> Fuck you. You get an F. All right. One more thing to bitch about the plumber. Okay, the plumber. Uh, his job. He had to hook up this water heater. I've bitched about him before. He charges like way ridiculous fucking prices to do this shit. Okay, fine. Yeah, whatever. But the problem is... If you figure a plumber would get it right the first time, this shit leaks. His connections aren't tight enough. Okay, I get it. All he's got to do is throw a wrench on there and tighten it up. But shouldn't you know how much pressure to put on there? You put the tape, you put the goop, and you... Put the fucking male in the female and you tighten it up. 
But the problem is right now is I can't turn the water on in the house. All the joints that I did in this house, I replaced all the fucking water pipes underneath this house. I replaced all of them. And guess what? None of them fucking leak. The plumber, he had to make three feet worth of connect. Oh, well, you know, the, the homeowner, he ran it up through here. He had to go from right there, two feet below that right there, to right here. That's what his job was. And it leaks. You see how I don't fucking trust nobody? I can't turn the water in his house on. Because if his, if I turn it on, his shit drips and leaks. It goes out through the little pipe. Oh, let's keep this fucking rant going. Because his shit is going to leak. I goddamn guarantee you it leaks because I've seen it dripping. And it fills that fucking tub up. And it goes down to the overflow. You know what happened? He hooked up the overflow. <coughs> get mad. He hooked up the overflow. And he ran it through here. Straight through there. It goes through the wall. Downstairs. It goes right in the middle of a wall. Goes through that wall, and then it goes straight under the house, goes through the floor, goes right through the floor, into the crawl space, and stops. Doesn't go anywhere. So if that water tank were to bust, and it overflows, and it does what, to protect the house, and it saves all the water, and it takes it, and it, it disperses it out, it goes under the house. So I could go off on vacation. That thing busts. Next thing you know, I come home. I got 10,000 gallons of water under my house. Because he didn't want to run 10 more fucking feet of PVC. Save $10. Motherfucker got paid like $1,500 to install this thing. But he didn't want to run the extra, the PVC. He didn't want to run it 10 more feet. So he could save $10. Draining under the fucking house? Are you a fucking idiot? Yeah, apparently they are. Fuck them all. Fuck all subcontractors. I'm not fussing at my contractor. I like him personally. I think he wants to do right by me. And I find these issues. I point them out. He makes sure they get taken care of. But your goddamn subcontractors should do better fucking work than that. And that... And that goddamn spray foam that the idiots couldn't put in right. They didn't put in enough. I haven't used their name yet. And I haven't used his name yet. I don't even know his fucking name. And I haven't used the electrician's name yet. But there are issues that I have with the electrician. Uh, with the, the, the electric company that came out. I got issues with what they've done so far. If... If my project manager makes it right, I'll be fine. But the problem is, is some of those things is too late. It's too late. The walls have gone up. The insulation underneath here has been put in. Right? I got one other thing I could bitch about, but I'm not going to because I'm going on 20 more minutes. But it has to do with... Uh, Something in the kitchen that was missed, and I don't want to, I don't want to bitch about that right now, because I'm already worked up, and then I'm hungry. I'm getting hungry. Well, shit, I got like five things the electrician did. I'm fucking, I'm not happy about. But I'm, I'm done with this one. All right, y'all enjoy, enjoy your videos.